No. Show them the real estate deal you're working on. How big of a deal is it right now? Uh, 275,000. 275 grand. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Don't show anybody the confidential stuff. Now this is an interesting diagram. Basically the plan that uh, Cole and I are launching this real estate uh, investment course what it's going to teach you is how you can buy up to one well you can buy more than this but the basic plan is one house a quarter and over five years you amass 10 or 20 homes with positive cash flow use the positive cash flow in a step stool kind of uh, way cascading way to pay down the initial property and the next thing you know in the ideal situation five years in you've got 10 or 20 pro uh, properties that are paid off that are generating six to 12 grand a month of income, you're basically retired and you can do all the other stuff you wanna do. Now, it doesn't totally. always work out. Some people take more than five years, some people take less. Yeah. I mean, there, it's... How's the shoot going? Back up in your arms one more time. Yeah, you guys got the flamingos the right out. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Jaylene, how was your shoot? It was good. TMZ had you. You gonna be on, what, TMZ's website? Yeah. Did you do something wrong that they're gossiping? No. Me and Cole are talking real estate investing. What do they need to know, Cole? So the big thing is big picture, whether you want this to be a full-time career or not. Uh, let Buffett me flip the camera around. By the way, <laughs> men and women can be entrepreneurs. The world needs more female entrepreneurs. What got you interested in real estate? Money. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I like being a boss, you know? I don't like nobody telling me what to do. Yeah. And I like freedom, so I like to do my own thing, you know? Yeah, that's yeah. good. <laughs> oh, you're not gonna do this? Sorry, wait, start over. I thought you were gonna say, no, I'm here with Paul. Blooper okay. reel. All right, blooper reel, yeah. So the, the big thing is, you know, people say, hey, I don't wanna be a full-time real estate investor. I love building apps, or I love working at my job as a firefighter, like I was or whatever. What people want to realize is it's multiple income streams. Yeah, we Warren got Buffett, that right here. Warren Buffett, yeah, it's uh, right here. Warren Buffett talks a lot about that. So, so whatever your day to day, your nine to five is cool, but to have that multiple income stream of passive income properties is really important. And so, when it comes to acquiring this is, passive income properties, this is the wife. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the better half who taught me this stuff. And this is the student today. <laughs> She's visiting from Miami. She's like, I want to learn about real estate. Me and Cole are, are brainstorming. We're launching a real estate program where you can learn this stuff. So we're just brainstorming on a nice Saturday. Look how nice it is today. Yeah, it's like 73, 74 73 degrees. 73 Southern California. All right, let's go it's, through. It's, it's what are the three main things people have to get good at? So from a big picture, right? so how to find deals. Not every deal is a winner. How to fund deals. Not everyone wants to or should use their own money. And then how to grow and manage a portfolio so that it's not a liability, it's an asset. I got the car giveaway back in full effect. So if you follow me on Snap and Insta, you got two chances to win. Gave away a Camaro, a girl won it in uh, LA. So I hope you win. It's gonna be a good, uh, it's gonna be a good day for somebody who wins. I gave away like seven cars already, or six cars this year. What's the new kicks of the day? I already got one on, Jordan Jumpman 2s. And I got the Bob Cousy socks for you basketball Celtics fans. These are nice. Nice. So we were showing them how you can use asset asset based lending. Yeah, exactly. So again, some people out there have hundreds of thousands of dollars and that's great and obviously that's better than having none, but at the same time, you can't buy houses forever with your own money. Yeah. Everybody uses other people's money whether it comes to traditional lending from the banks or creative financing. The reason I prefer creative financing is because <laughs> What? I'll just double check if you pay <laughs> attention. Re the reason I like creative financing for property acquisition is you don't need credit, you don't need financial statements, you don't need experience. It's called asset based lending. Yep. So there are hard money lenders that do that, and even more so, there are private money lenders who do that. And this is an endless source of finding deals. So, Ty, I always ask the question, I know that you'll know the answer. What's more important, knowing how to save money or knowing how to raise it? The answer is raise. Exactly, because you can only save so much, but raising money, having the skill of raising money is endless. Say hello. Hello. So you coming to play basketball? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, you coming to eat. <laughs> Now I'm getting hurt, it's fucking for you, trying to write me up, but now I'm a writer with ambitions of a 
one thing that's good about real estate investing is you could start, uh, you can do other businesses and have passive income on the side. You ready so. to play? <laughs> She's ready to go out. We're still on the basketball court. Let's see. Shoot. Skills and heels. Oh, come on, one more. You got enough time. Chiropractor time. How's it going? Is she cracking? I'm cracking everywhere. Oh, it's in the money right there. And so as far as where you want to target properties, super important to buy in middle income America. I know that there are places in our country, specifically Detroit, where you can buy houses for five to 10 grand in low income housing. And this isn't a judgment of any people, everyone's amazing. But as far as having someone being able to pay rent, low income housing is hard to chase rent. Plus if there's a economic bubble, which may be coming soon, then lower income stuff they're Basically, the hardest hit financially. Yeah, they're the hardest hit and you get a lot of vacancies and trouble. And back to the bubble, if you're buying luxury condos in South Beach, Miami, where, where she's a realtor for 50 million bucks to rent out for 75,000 a month, yeah. well, in an economic downturn, these people might not want to or be able to afford to pay there anymore. And so if there's a downgrading in an economic bottle, bubble, there's always people can, that can afford to rent homes in middle income America. Yeah. If there's an economic collapse, these people here move here. Uh, if we're in an economic surplus, these people here move here. And so there's always someone renting houses in middle income America. One thing, make sure you get lots of exercise every day. All you entrepreneurs that sit in front of a desk, don't do it. All the money in the world doesn't matter if you're not healthy. You guys approve of this shirt? Yes. What brand is it again? It was. Um, wings, and <laughs> wings and what? Wings and horns. You ready to go eat, Alex? Let's do it. Go get some steak. Night control. I mean, night vision. I laughed at him. I said, who wants to get DVDs in the mail? I want to drive. You laughed at Netflix? Yeah, yeah, I thought it was stupid. So I, I knew that if I were Zach to found a Pisces. No, no, I got What's on your hand, Zach? Oh. It's mine. It's mine. No, 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 no. Is it mine or it's oh. Show the tattoo. It's a deer filler, babe. Watch for this, Cole. We're doing a. Uh, by the way, Cole's got a. I'm gonna put a link below to his Thrive conference. Yeah. I'm speaking at his conference. A lot of people want to meet me in person. I don't do that many conferences, but I'm doing his. And then, so watch for the Thrive link below. I got a little coupon code. What do they save? How much? Uh, 300 bucks. 300 using bucks. Good life. Good life. One word. It's attendthrive.com. Yep. Cheers, everybody. Does anybody pick up on the wood? Do you smell the wood or the wine? Do you smell wine? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. You making us a custom made Caesar salad? Man, that looks. Most obnoxious sized bowl as well. Rowan, you were at my house the other day for investor dinner. That's right. And you've got a luxury concierge marketing no, business. Thanks for yeah, yeah. Nice. Good to see you again. Why are you trying to figure me out? Right, trying to figure me out. Ribeye with a blue cheese crust on it. What did you get? Sea bass. Sea bass. Craig, you, your, your plate's so big they couldn't fit on a plate. They gave you a damn. They gave you the pan. <laughs> You're eating out of the pan. What are you drinking? Cranberry vodka. Cranberry vodka. What are you drinking? You got a double espresso? What do we got? We got a Snickers dessert. Ice cream, warm cookies, lemon, lemon tart, tart, s'mores, and s'mores. Hell yeah, Zach. Where are you headed now, Zach? Uh, I'm going. I'm, I'm going to go to a strip club. I don't know about what about I'm, y'all. Yeah, it's amateur night. Yo, Zach. Let's hear that Arnold Schwarzenegger impression again. You sound like Chewbacca, man. No, I know. I, I, Adrian's not around, man. Adrian, Let me hear so your Zach. How was your date? Jizzy on. How was your date? Jizzy on, on you. Jizzitsu? Jizzy on you. Jizz on you? What is she saying? Jizzy on you. Jizzitsu.
and then the other thing is watch for this course we got coming out it's going to be badass we're going to let a handful of people in show you how to create multiple streams of income <laughs> what do you think i love it how are you feeling after being in mexico <laughs> That's good. Be there. Make sure you guys be there. Everybody. Are you pointing? I like the glasses. You, you give you the secretary look. No. Say hello. hello. They all went to the bathroom together. How come women got to go to the bathroom together, man? Craig, why do women have to go to the bathroom so, together? Fuck the people. That's a Lamborghini. Oh, see, Did you right call that a Ferrari? Time. No, I said, is that a Lambo or is it a Ferrari? Who goes in first? Boom. Ready to go? We should hear this conversation we're having. I've, I heard somebody speaking Swedish walking down the street. Sunset Boulevard. Let's see where we're going. We're gonna find. Where should we go? Where should we go in Sunset? All right, we decided against the den. What do we have here? What's that say, Craig? The body shop? <laughs> Craig wants to go to the strip club. You Craig. have the best accent. Where is it from? Australia. Australia. Say hi to Australia. Say something. Good day, mate. Good day, mate. Where are you from? The Gold Coast, right? Yes. Are you dating a narcissist? One of the best ways you can know is if they have a tattoo of themselves on their own body. That's one Do you of know the anybody best. like That's that? Question two. Does smoking weed make you dumber or smarter? It makes you think deeper. Does it make you think deeper? <laughs> it does. Did you guys have fun? Yes. Where's Alex? Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Alex, mentor box. When are we yes. shipping? We're shipping soon. Two to three weeks. It's coming. Get it's your seat. Old. We made it back to Sunset on Sunset Boulevard, back to the car. We ended up at the Standard Hotel. Oh yeah. Wasn't too bad. <laughs> that is how people walking looks. <laughs> Turns yellow when they detect heat. <laughs> 